Hello and welcome to the channel. The Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, has told the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, that the candidate of the Labour Party, LP Peter Hobby, failed to show that he scored the majority of votes during the presidential election, hence could not have won against President Bola Hakmet Tinubu, who did. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Peter Hobby failed to show his court majority votes. I neck tells court. The Independent National Electoral Commission, Hynek, has argued that Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Hobby, failed to show how he scored the majority of lawful votes during the 25th February presidential election. Mr. Hobby, who came third in the election, had filed his petition at the presidential election petition court in Abuja to challenge the outcome of the polls on the grounds of allegations of electoral fraud, among other alleged irregularities. He urged the court to nullify President Bola Tinubu's victory in the poll. He also called on the court to either declare him the winner of the election or hold a fresh poll. Mr. Obi and his party, LP, alleged that Mr. Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima were not qualified to vie for Nigeria's presidency. They alleged Mr. Tinubu was convicted of drugs-related crimes and forfeited 460,000 U.S. dollars. They also accused Mr. Shetima of double nomination by their party, the Hall Progressives Congress, APC. The petitioners contended at the trial of the case that Mr. Tinubu was not duly elected by the majority of the lawful votes cast at the election. Mr. Hobby called 13 witnesses to bark his claims. The five-member panel of the court led by Arunat Samani had ordered parties to the case to exchange their final written addresses at the end of the trial. In its final written address, INEC, through its lead lawyer, Abubakar Mahmoud, said, Mr. Hobby's petition lacks merits. Responding to allegations of Mr. Shetima's double nomination, Mr. Mahmoud, a senior advocate of Nigeria, son, said the APC had in a letter dated 6 July 2022, received on 13 July 2022 by INEC, withdrawn his candidacy for Bono Central Senatorial District to clear the way for his nomination as Mr. Tinubu's running mate. He clarified that Mr. Shetima's voluntary withdrawal preceded his nomination as Mr. Tinubu's vice presidential pick. Also addressing the issue of Mr. Tinubu's alleged trafficking of narcotic drugs in the U.S., Mr. Mahmoud said, there was no criminal charge, sentence, or conviction to support the allegation of criminal conviction or forfeiture, referencing a letter from the U.S. government tendered during the defense. He added that the alleged order of forfeiture being that of a foreign court is not registered in Nigeria to be enforceable. The forfeiture order made by George John Nodberg of a United States District Court on 4 October 1993 is in fact over 20 years since the alleged order was made, Mr. Mahmoud said, referencing Mr. Tinubu's defense in the case. On the issue of INEC's failure to upload polling units results of the presidential election to its result viewing portal in real time on 25th February, Mr. Mahmoud said that electoral officers could not transmit the image of the results to the IREF portal due to the technical glitch that occurred on the e-transmission application hosted by Amazon Web Services. This technical glitch was eventually resolved. I next sole witness had, during his testimony, tendered the Amazon Cloud Trail in support of the claim that there was a technical glitch on the Commission's portal during the presidential poll. Mr. Mahmoud said the evidence of high next sole witness, Lawrence Bayode, an assistant director at the Commission's ICT department, was uncontroverted. Mr. Bayode, during his testimony, stated that he was one of the persons who designed the INEC e transmission system and helped resolve the technical glitch that occurred on election day. Petitioners neither pleaded nor demonstrated at trial any unlawful votes of the second respondent, Mr. Tinubu, to be discounted from the computed cause of the parties, and did not present any lawful votes to be added to their own. This clearly shows failure to lead any evidence to support same. 
on Mr. Albi's contention that Mr. Tinubu ought not to be declared the winner of the election for failing to score 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory FCT in the presidential election, the Commission said, this clearly has nothing to do with lawful votes or unlawful votes. It's noted that the issue is clearly one of interpretation of the relevant constitutional provisions. Mr. Mahmoud added in the INEX final address that Mr. Orbi failed to lead credible evidence to hate his case. He said there was no mandatory obligation prescribed by the Electoral Act for INEC to electronically transmit and collate results of the election or to fully upload same on IREV before collation of results. In the court filing dated 14 July, Mr. Mahmoud said, the evidence presented by the petitioners, Mr. Albi and L. P. failed to make out a case that the second and third respondents are not qualified to contest the election. Section 134, 2 of the Constitution, only requires a candidate to have scored the highest number of votes cast on at least one quarter of the votes cast in two thirds of all the states in the Federation and the FCT as an aggregate of 37 states. The petition for want of evidence deserves to be dismissed and accordingly dismissed same. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Mark Mood further added that Halby's witness failed to tender before the PEPC the polling unit results he used in writing his report leading to claims of a deduction. Curiously, if the 18,000 88 polling unit results as uploaded on IREV are blurred. What of the duplicate copies in the possession of the petitioner's polling agents? We submit that the totality of the testimony and evidence of the so-called experts, PWs 4, 7, and 8, called by the petitioners are manifestly unreliable and cannot ground the incidents of non-compliance pleaded by the petitioners. We submit that there is no credible evidence to prove that votes in those 18,088 polling units were suppressed just because blurred results were allegedly uploaded on the high rev. The petitioners have only left the same to conjecture and speculation, which never form part of the determination of the courts, Mahmoud stated. Mahmoud argued that Heine conducted the election within the confines of the law and therefore urged the tribunal to dismiss the claim by OB on his party. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.